Okay, I'm here to help you correct your step up today. And we're gonna break it down as some components to show you what you should be doing right, what you're doing wrong, and also the components of breaking it down, get those parts right to bring it back so you can fix your step up. Now, first of all, when you do a step up, the two things I see is a hip drop and a knee roll. Now, that usually happens on the way down because at the start, you are sort of in a bit of a hip drop because one leg is down further than the other and you've got a high step or bench that you're stepping up on. But what you've got to work on is the downward face, make sure you don't drop at the top. Because when you step up from here, if you roll your knee in, that's one thing, but if you're at the top here and then you come down from this position and you drop your hip, you're always gonna roll in so you can't control it. So you have gotta make sure that you're working on pelvis stability here to help you with your knee stability so you track right, stop getting injured or getting pain if you're doing step ups. So that's what we're looking for and then I'll show you how we're gonna correct it. So let's take away this and go back into just thinking about the first two components are stepping down, all right? So what I get people doing is going back to a very small low stage box and getting the top part right. So this is when you'll be on top of the box coming down. And what you want to aim for, the first one, is keeping a level pelvis. So from there, you don't want to drop straight away because a lot of people reach, they think, okay, I'm going to step off the box and they drop down and that's the first thing they do. They step with their leg, they think, okay, the leg's going down and their hip follows. Now what that does, puts you on that angle there, means you're going to be a bit deficient in that glute med that knee's more likely to travel inwards, okay? So it's harder to control your knee if your pelvis is like that. So that's why I want you to try and work on maintaining level pelvis for as long as you can from the top to the bottom. Guaranteed, it's gonna drop at the bottom, but half, or the first half, that's why I want you to keep it stable. So what you do is just do a small state like this, okay? So you're not going too far from the ground. And what you do is try and think, okay, these two level parts here, the front, bony parts of your pelvis need to be level when I'm standing on one leg for a start, all right? And then we go from a, from a straight leg to a bent leg, they've got to stay level. So I'm gonna bend my knee and reach back and then come back up again. So you notice that what I'm not doing is dropping like that, okay? So I need to try and maintain level here, sit back at the hips, bend the knee, step down, tap, come back up. Don't put weight through that back leg because you're gonna be in mid-air. So you don't wanna sort of weight bear and stop like that because that's taking weight off this. You're not learning anything on this leg if you start putting weight through that one too early. So make sure, level pelvis. And the second thing is look at that knee. If you've got the level pelvis, then try and look at that knee and keep it over the center of your foot, which is basically laces or between your second and third toe if you can see your feet. So from there, bend your knee, keep that knee in line, as far as you can until it feels like it's going to roll in like that. It's because you don't want to go too low because there's no point in trying to promote rolling in. So just work on the top level as far as you can go to there and then come back up. All right. So that's your step down component. If you've nailed that and you get that sorted, then you move to a lunge. So you think of like we're breaking up a step up into a step down and a lunge. So get rid of that. Go into your lunge. Now with the lunge one, what this does is works on trying to get you know, your level pelvis a little bit lower. So, because if that star component is only the sort of top range, then you're gonna go for mid range. So I would go into a lunge which stabilizes you a little bit more. And then what you wanna do is not do 50-50, okay? Because you're not gonna learn enough from the front leg. So don't make the mistake of dropping down 50%, 50% on both legs. You wanna be going forward onto the front leg. And what that will do is it'll give you a bit of a better ability to work on this pelvis. And this is the thing I'll show you when we go back to the step up, is trying to correct it at the bottom when you step up as well. So for this thing, you don't wanna be doing dropping down on this leg, the same as much as this one, because it's gonna, again, drop your pelvis like that. So what you try and do is tuck a little bit with your pelvis that way, okay? So you actually put weight through this leg more than this one to start with, and then you gotta try and maintain that. So when you lunge, bend your knees, bend your hips, those two levels are trying to stay pretty even, and then push back to 50-50. You may have to sort of reset that every now and again to get you out of this habit of doing that. So get back in this position nice and level, bend to the hips, bend to the knees, lean forward, weight through the front foot here, and then drive that back to 50-50. Now what that'll do is give you deeper range through the glute and the knee, 
and bend and work on your control make you work really hard now this is the strength building that you need so it's not just think it's neuromuscular there's also actual strength to help you with the control of the step down now if you're one of those people who you've got your pelvis level but your knee's still rolling in so maybe it's not your glute maybe it's your deep lateral rotators that's the issue use a band so what you can do if you've trained that hip right but your knee's still an issue I'll show you on my left one because the band's over there is you now do a lunge or a step down with the band to help you sort that out okay so the band remember when you've got a band like this and I've shown you on the videos before is the band's trying to pull you in so you're trying to fight that and stretch the band a bit to get out there that sort of awareness of pulling out will help you correct it but also that tension is going to give you some strengthening here to actually laterally rotate the hip and bring your knee out over line of your foot so then you can train your lunge get your pelvis position right here okay get that sorted and train your lunge in that position all right and you can now focus on your knee because if you've sorted this part you focus on the knee try not to let the band pull your knee in keep it there deep as you can go without losing form and back up okay now some of you when you drop down you're gonna lose don't lose a little you'll, you'll drop a little bit of pelvis try not just drop too much you're trying to eliminate how much movement you've been doing to try and pull that back to not too much movement so if your lunge is okay work on your step down get the step down get your band out remember it's always the outside of the knee band that goes around the outside of the knee you can't go wrong when it's on the front leg it's not going to pulling the other way it's pulling that way same drill pelvis right step down back that little movement which is the top of your step up remember that little movement from there straight leg to bending still weight bearing through here though not weight bearing through there and trying to keep that knee in line with your foot tension on the band so that helps you correct what's happening with the knee so if you've got those two things what you can do if you want a sort of an interim step you think okay hang on that step is a bit lower than that you can jack it up with something like this where you're going a little bit higher okay so you're sort of closer to the height of a step up all right and still not practicing step ups yet what you want to then aim for is going from a step down into a lunge okay so you're going to go from this point here make sure your pelvis is level step down and then into the lunge and then step up okay what that's going to give you is a bit of depth like that because we go down into a lunge all right so from here level 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 so try and stay level as long as you can then you step down and then coming back up to that position and make sure when you come up your knees up what you can add into is if you want to help with your coordination is when your left leg comes up your right leg's up of course with weights it's not going to happen but for now the practice this really helps so this left leg is up your right hand is up you go down you swap and then you come back up again try and make sure that you're slow on the way down you're controlling that move of the pelvis controlling the move of the knee you're fast on the way up all right so you don't want to go fast on the way up. so if you start from here and you go fast on the way up you don't want to go down too quick because you're just going to drop so you want to aim for controlling slow eccentric quick concentric all right so once you've got that then obviously move you finally can go back to your step up and this isn't even with weights yet this is just doing unloaded to get your form right and then you can do weights so with your step up i'm going to show you from the front and from the back so from the front you're thinking okay from there i've got a bit of a tilt here i'm going to try and tuck in as much as you can the easiest way to do that is not be way back here you're not going to get it come forward a bit then sit that pelvis there's as much flexion as you can here remember more flexion more glute drive okay so from there lean forward a bit so the weight's on that leg okay so all the loading is here you're not relying on the back leg all right and going and driving and then when you come down slow on the way down okay reset if you need to drive up slow 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 and down now when that looks like from the back you're trying to see because it's hard to see from there you're trying to aim for this level here you can see if I go back here it's going to be on an angle 
Okay, so I want to be as level as I can there. Okay, so really diving into the hip here. That's why you need some hip mobility. But getting that level, trying to aim for level as much as you can. Keeping it there. And then trying to keep that level as long as you can. All right? Now, it might start off with a little bit of an angle until you improve that, but what you're aiming for is to try and reduce how much change you have. So the main aim is to try and eliminate the angle at the bottom so there's not so much going on, there's only a little bit. And when you come up at the top, you don't drop down. So when you come up here, you don't drop straight away, all right? Because as soon as you drop, it's gonna roll the knee. So think, change the angle there, maintain to the bottom, okay? Give that a shot in your step-ups. Hope that helps. See you next time.